Hi guys, this is Shivarati. Welcome to the session on work mode. In this session, I am going to explain what is the purpose of work mode and how you can use work mode in your development projects. So first, let us go ahead and start. As this is the um, uh, home page for the work mode, if you see work mode is an open source tool to fix Java coding style issues. We are going to uh, see in detail about uh, work mode uh, advantages and how to use in uh, how to use work mode tool in our development projects. First, let us look what are the advantages of it. So, whenever we are working with uh, any uh, large scale development projects, there are many development teams involved in the uh, developing a particular projects. So, it is very hard to maintain the consistency uh, the consistency for the java coding standards across the all the uh, developers hence work mode is going to help you to fix inconsistent java coding standards in your project automatically and the second one is if you are using any source analyzer code to uh, source analyze source analyzer quality tools like uh, pmd checkstyle sonar cube or find bugs once the developer on the development phase itself uh, if you are using any one of this uh, uh, source code analyzer tools this is going to provide online feedback about the code quality issues so if you are manually um, fixing all these code quality issues it is going to be a very time consuming process hence by using the work mode you can fix the code quality issues reported by the PMD or check style or sonar cube or find bugs automatically work mode automatically fix those issues and also this will help you to um, reduce the development cost because if you are working with the, any refactoring of a particular project uh, where you want to um, fix these uh, code quality issues it is going to take a uh, it is going to take a much time hence by using the work mode you can automatically uh, fix the code quality issues along with if you are refactoring any uh, module then by using the work mode plugins it is easy it is automatically uh, refactor most of the code but if you are doing in a manually it might be a error prone because uh, it is uh, it is always uh, when developers are doing manually there might be chances of uh, again it is going to lead to a code quality issues so work mode at high level it is going to maintain the uh, java co uh, java coding standards across all the developments uh, develop team uh, development teams for your project by fixing the code quality issues automatically and uh, it is going to help you to deliver your uh, project efficiently and uh, with high quality within a re uh, less development time hope this is the um, high level advantage of the work mode now if you are if you are if you didn't use any source code analyzer tools in your project in uh, in the past then these are the videos i have created for the source um, code analyzers if you want to know about the find bugs you can just go through this url and uh, in the same way if you want to know about the check style this is the url i already created videos how to you use the check style or find bugs and uh, sonar lint so once you go through these uh, uh, urls you will come to know that how source code analyzers will uh, report code quality issues during the development phase itself so that by using the work mode automatically though these type of uh, um, these type of source code quality issues can be fixed automatically so next next topic is how we are going to work with the uh, work mode i am going to explain in order to work with the work mode first you need to install work mode in your computer so in order to install the work mode uh, software just you need to go to work mode uh, website from here you can click on this download button then it will download the latest version of the work mode um, software so if you see uh, i already downloaded this software in my local that is work mode uh, dash 3.0.0 this is the latest uh, uh, work mode version as of now so once you downloaded this zip file you need to annex uh, you need to extract to uh, a particular folder and then you can see the folder structure inside that is a bin config and lib folders you need to go till bin so this is the command if you go to navigate to the command prompt and uh, 
you can use the work mode uh, commands from here but in order to um, in order to access the work mode command from anywhere so first you need to set up the environment variable still this bin path so how we are going to set the environment variable right click on the com uh, click on the start button and then right click on the computer properties and then click on this advanced system uh, advanced system settings environment variables here you can search for the path variable and click on edit at the end you can append till work mode bin folder so in my case it has installed i have extracted the work mode um, uh, software or the um, software to d uh, full uh, d drive with the work mode as a folder and in in that i am setting till till i am setting the path till bin folder so click ok and ok ok now you need to open a command prompt anywhere and just type work mode question now if you are able to uh, that means once you able to set the um, uh, path properly environment uh, if you set the path in environment var variables properly for the work mode then when you apply the command work mode version then you can see this uh, uh, the, this inform information that will that means that you successfully um, able to set your uh, environment variable to work with the work mode so till this we are we have set up the environment uh, uh, to set up the environment to work with the work mode now i am going to show you how you can apply work mode in your uh, java projects to anal to fix the this source code um, uh, source analyzer tools quality quality issues now i am going to my eclipse i am going to create one java project first we are going to see how we can uh, use this one for the normal java project then i am going to explain how you can use the same thing for your uh, if you are using any build tools like uh, gradle or the maven then i am going to explain how you can use the work mode for uh, for those build tools first we are look at the basic uh, java project java work mode demo now click on finish so in order to work with the um, work with the java uh, work with the work mode the primary uh, primary requirement is you need to have a um, work mode needs to be in, uh, installed in your computer and you need to set the environment variable once that is done you need to create a work work mode dot xml file in the root folder of your here i already mentioned the step just i am trying to explain once again you need to download once download you need to extract the file to particular uh, folder and then set the environment variables to the bin, uh, bin folder once you set the uh, bin folder you just click on work mode version then it is going to give you the information about the work mode that means you successfully installed work mode the next step is you need to work with the java project in order to work with the java project what you need to do is first you need to create a work mode.xml file in the project root folder and you need to copy this content i'm going to explain this one in detail just we are going to first create a dot xml file okay others you can go to xml now i need to create a xml file so that needs to be named as work mode dot xml click finish and uh, just to copy paste this content here okay here it is uh, it is required uh, it is required to understand the work mode dot xml what it means is work mode can have multiple chains chains in chain is nothing but the group of uh, um, transformations what you are trying to uh, achieve this one so i am going to explain so first one is first look at the uh, how you need to um, how you are going to work with the work mode for your java project to fix the code quality issue that is our agenda so now what i am going to do is i am going to create a one sample class that is work mode 
demo. In the root folder only, I am creating, or even we can create one project. So I'll have something like this. So com dot mo dot code, and I am giving as a work mode as a demo. I need to have a public static void method. Okay, so this is the basic uh, basic um, sample class which does not have any content here. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import one package Java dot util dot For example, now let us consider in your project you have uh, something called as a unused um, imports. Ideally, for the better code quality, ideally we need to uh, remove these um, unused imports anywhere in your classes. Hence, if you want to manually remove all these things, uh, all the classes, it is going to be a little bit tedious process. So now, what I am going to do is I use I am going to use the walk mode to remove the unused imports from you from our class file. So how we are going to do that? I am going to show you. So in the walk mode. Here, for example, first thing is the readers and these are the not required because if reader means this is the path you need to give in, uh, that means basically work mode is going to, by default, if you don't provide this um, reader, uh, reader or the writers here, by default, the work mode is going to consider the root path as wherever you see src slash main uh, slash java, this is going to consider default uh, root for the project. So I'm not going to add any reader or the writer here. Just I'm going to use the transformation. What I am giving here is type equal to imports cleaner. What this transformation is, walk mode is have a sequence of the transformations which are going to apply on the source code to clean the particular um, particular source code source code quality issue or source code quality issue so in this case what we are trying to say is work mode transformation type is imports cleaner means it is going to analyze the or read the source code whatever it is by default it is na src slash main slash java in this project it is going to identify what are the classes is there and then if there is any issue with the respect to the imports cleaner, that means unused uh, imports in your class, then automatically work mode is going to remove it. So first we are going to see how that happens. So in order to uh, in order to execute the work mode command, you just need to navigate to this um, uh, folder of your uh, workspace. So in my case, the workspace is at C drive admin workspace java work mode demo now from here you can check work mode you can enter a command work mode there are two commands work mode if i say check then what it is going to do is it is going to analyze the source code or it is going to scan the source code whatever it is available in the src main java and it is going to tell us what are the um code quality issues java files whatever it is find for that particular transformation it is going to list here for example in this case if you see here com dot walk mode dot code dot walk mode demo this is the class having the import cleaner that means basically this class contains the unused imports hence when it runs when we run work mode it identifies there is a some issue with this class so now what we are going to do is basically walk mode check is going to go through your source code and identifies what are the issues it finds with respect to the transformation whatever you are going to apply now in order to fix that issue what you need to do is walk mode apply then it is going to fix that issue and your code will be replaced with, uh, that means basically it is going to remove that unused import from your class we are going to see now now it has applied the transformation now if i go and see the work mode demo see the unused import is gone that means work mode is automatically fix your 
unused import issue in your source code that is what how that is how the work mode is going to work now we are going to see little bit more about this one for example if you want to work with the particular uh, directory if you want to if you want to read from a particular uh, directory then you can specify reader and then you can specify the path here or I think I can revert this one basically this one. yeah this is how you need to specify for example path is nothing but you can specify any path from where you want to read the your source code src for example src test if I want to read from this this folder then I can search it instead of test right I will put like input then this is going to be a much more um, easier thing input so from the src folder under input it is going to read the source code and then apply this transformation now one more thing what is the use of the writer so if you see the first demo whatever I have shown it has replaced the same code in the uh, work mode dot demo itself that means when transformation applies on the uh, applied on the uh, particular uh, source code then if you don't specify any writer writer path here then what happens is it automatically replaces the same after apply, uh, same same source file after applying the transformation but if you want to uh, write to the some other directory then you can specify this output or writer path here writer path I am going to give src output now what I am going to do here is again I am going to revert this revert this change now what I am going to do here is I don't want the reader because reader I want to read from the default path only so I am going to put this one in the comment and then transformation it is applied now what I am saying is once this transformation imports cleaner applied then I am specifying the path once this transformation applies the path whatever the fixed source code should be available in this folder now again I am going to apply the transformation now we can see work mode apply now this time what it will it is going to do is work mode will uh, scan your source code and identify whatever the issue uh, with respect to the transformation in a particular source file and then it is going to move that once the transformation fix the issue it is going to move that file to the output directory whatever we have specified in the writer path now here I have specified src uh, output folder now if I see here src sorry let me refresh this project once again I am refreshing it and then where this path is writer path core okay sorry I did not save this file so that is the reason it didn't uh, uh, created the output directory so once again I am going to uh, run this work mode command work mode apply now this time what happens is it is going to scan through the uh, default uh, reader path and then it is going to send this output uh, uh, then it will create a output for output file in this particular path so now once it completes let us see yeah this is completed now if I go ahead and refresh this project once again sorry this is the root path and, uh, once again I am running this project work mode apply ok so this has created the output under the output you can see com work mode core 
and this is the work mode demo if you see here this has removed this whatever the unused imp uh, import it is there it has cleaned this unused import so in the case of sourceful it is still there so work mode what it is going to do is if you specify the writer uh, writer and the path then by using the and also the output of this format is always going to be uh, used by the work mode is eclipse formatter so by using the eclipse formatter it is going to take your source code and apply the transformation and do the fixing of your uh, issue code issue code, t, uh, code quality issue and then the output of that file is going to be written to the whatever the path you have specified for the in the writer in the case of reader also same for example if you want to read some particular from the particular path then you can give the reader path here so that first it is going to read this read the uh, file or the source code from this particular path and then applying this transformation on your source code and is going to analyze if there are any issues are there then the those issues will be fixed and then it is going to uh, write that path to, uh, write the uh, fixed uh, uh, source code to a particular output directory but it is not uh, but if you don't specify any writer then what happens is it will automatically repo, replace the existing source file now quickly look at how exactly work mode will work in a diagrammatic representation so in order to work with the work mode the first the primary requirement is going to be you should have to define the work mode.xml in this work mode.xml you can specify a series of chains so this is the work mode so this is chain chain and then if you want to have a, another chain then you can specify chain 1 and chain 2 and here you are going to specify from the reader which path you need to read and then what are the transformation you need to apply on that uh, particular uh, source code and if you want to specify the output file then you can give the output file if you don't specify the writer uh, writer here then default automatically it is going to replace the existing source code after fixing the uh, after applying the transformations Similarly, if you want to read, if you don't specify any reader, default it is going to read from the SRC main Java. If you want to read some other directory, then you can, you need to specify this one. Like that, whenever you apply the uh, work mode, uh, it is going to um, analyze your, that means first it will take the source code and apply the transformation and finally it is going to uh, write to your output directory if you don't uh, uh, if you don't put anything anyhow it is going to override it so this is at the high level so if you see at the diagrammatically also same thing first you need to specify in the work mode uh, work mode uh, dot xml you can specify list of series of uh, chains and there you need to specify this uh, reader if you don't specify default path will be taken otherwise you can specify the java project directory and then work mode will, what it is going to do is it is going to scan your all the transformations and then it will apply the transformation on your source code then it is go if you are if you define the writer then what happens is it is going to generate the new file in the specified directory if you don't specify if you don't specify the writer then it is automatically update the existing uh, source code files this is how it uh, this is how work mode is going to work internally now for example if you are working with the any build tools then work mode even can be come with the uh, it is available for the build tools also for example this is the ja gradle project i have created and if you want to work with the gradle just this piece of like uh, this um, a few lines of the code you need to add in your build.gradle and then you can apply the as a um, as a goal you can apply as a task you can apply in using the gradle so just to add this maven repository the basic thing is you need to add a class path uh, dependencies uh, uh, work mode uh, gradle plugin as a dependency here and then apply the plugin then this is the repositories are basically it is a maven or the central from where the uh, jars are going to available and it will be downloaded when you are trying to execute with the uh, gradle project 
so this is the piece of line uh, these are the few lines of the code you need to uh, add it to your gradle project so that uh, this will be taken care automatically and also one more thing is like in your project there might be a multiple uh, series of issues it may not be only imports for example uh, you might have unused variables are there so if you are trying to apply the multiple transformations always make sure that you apply the transformation incrementally what it means is first you are going to fix this uh, imports cleaner and then you can apply the another transformation to remove the unused variables and similarly if you want to have a um, if, if you want to use for uh, string comparison or some transformation i am going to explain or talk about a little bit more on that if you see the sonar queue so whenever you are working with the sonar queue so in order to fix those issues these are the transformations which are available for example if you want to remove unused variables in your project then you need to add this transformation sonar remove un, uh, useless variables similarly if you want to use sonar um, transformation for remove the uh, um, uh, useless imports then this is one what you need to use it so for example if you want to remove empty statements then this is the transformation you need to add it what i mean by incrementally means first take one transformation and apply on your source code once work mode fix that uh, uh, transformation then take another one and apply so so that you don't have any um, you don't see any discrepancy with respect to the uh, formation of your code or formatting your code otherwise when it is applying a particular transformation it uh, the eclipse formatter may not be able to write properly then actually it is going to break your actual source code um, income that means it is going to um, uh, have some issue with respect to the compilation hence make sure that take only one transformation at a time and then apply on it how you can apply a transformation is just go to the any uh, work mode xml file and then just put in the transformation type as this one like this so type you can specify sonar and use um, remove use useless variables then it is going to fix it so i hope you are clear with the how you are going to work with the gradle just you need to add a few lines of the code uh, this code in your build at gradle and then work mode whatever the transformation you want to apply on your source code then you can apply those things here i am just going to put the two two code quality issues one is with respect to the imports import java dot util util dot rs similarly i am going to have import java dot util dot set so these are the two uh, unused imports i am adding and also i am going to use one more uh, unused variable that is int a equal to 10 now there are two code quality issues one is unused variable is there another another one is the unused imports are there so now what i am going to do here is i am going to apply in my uh, work mode xml i have put the two transformations one for importing uh, one for cleaning the imports and another one for removing useless variables now when i apply this transformation on this um, project what happens i will show you so this is work mode gradle project is a work mode now i am just checking work mode check sorry for the gradle project what you need to do is gradle work mode now if you want to just check if there is any issues in your source code then work mode check this is going to scan your source code and it will tell you if there is any issues with respect to those two transformations work mode check so just to add to one point whenever we are applying a some transfer uh, some uh, transformation related to a particular plugin it is going to take little bit time 
to analyze your source code and then uh, at the same time it is going to download the latest jars uh, whichever uh, whichever having the dependency on that particular uh, particular uh, plugin for example in this case i am using the sonar so first it will needs to download the sonar plugins which are, uh, sonar uh, jar to apply the transformations so if you see here check it has identified libra library having a some issue and if you go and see it did not fix that problem actually so library if i go it didn't fix that problem because it just analyzed and found that there is a some class files which are having the issues with respect to those transformations now in order to fix it walk mode click check apply now actually it is going to uh, apply this transformation and it will fix that code quality issue now let us see Now it build is successful. Now if I go ahead and see the source code, see the unused import automatically fixed, and also the unused variables also it has removed. So if you are working with any uh, any uh, project Java project, and if you want to use the walk mode and identify what is the transformation which is applicable for your um, applicable for your uh, applicable to your project, and then add that transformation in the walk mode .xml file and you can use it so that walk mode is automatically fix those issues in order to work with the sonar cube plugin so far these are the transformations you can apply on your source code hope you are clear with the walk mode uh, walk mode demo how we can use walk mode at high level and also if you want to work mode we come up with the multiple plugins for example if you want to have a override annotation for the all the wherever it is applicable then you need to use the work mode override plugin if you want to fix the pmd issues then you can use the work mode pmd plugin if you want to refactor some code then there is a some plugins which are available for you to help with the refactoring code with a minimal impact and also uh, PMD is there. If you have any dead code um, cleaner, then you can use this one. And um, if you want to use the import cleaner, then you can use this uh, this one. If you want to format your um, code, then you can use Wakmut Java format plugin. So there are many plugins which are available, and based on your uh, your requirement for your project. You can take any one of the work mode uh, plugin or the transformation and you can apply on your project so that it will automatically fix your uh, code quality issues and it will significantly reduce your development time. And if you want to know about more details on the source code analyzer tools, I already have a YouTube channel. You can go through these find bugs. I already uploaded for the find bugs and uh, check style and um, uh, uh, sonar cube. So, you can reach uh, you can go through my um, youtube channel to know about more uh, source uh, to know more about how to use source code analyzer tools in your project hope you are clear with uh, the concept and if you have any questions please comment on my youtube video and please do subscribe to my youtube channel to get more technical videos thanks for watching have a nice day